Hello Spirit Squad, this is Pixie from Pixie Moons. Thank you for joining me once again. If you are new, welcome. I make astrology and pick a card videos like this one, ASMR videos, videos about spirituality. So if you are into any or all of those things, by all means, subscribe, join the Spirit Squad today. Ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload because I try to upload as much as possible for you guys. We are also on the talk, on the gram, on the book. All the info is in the description box. And we have also started a community on Patreon. You get videos in advance, you get printables, guided meditations, downloadables, uh, videos that are exclusive to Patreon that will never be aired on YouTube. And you can have all of that for just as much as you want. Really, it's up to you what you want to give. And I would really appreciate it if you would consider joining us and for the patrons and the OG members of the Spirit Squad. Thank you so much for being here and welcome back, you guys. Today I am filming in a different location. <laughs> That's why this is looking all fancy. Uh, this video is about Mercury retrograde. So it's gonna happen in two parts. First, the astrology part to explain a little bit what's going on, what to expect, and the reading, the pick a card. Again, the timestamps are in the description box. So if you want to skip ahead, be my guest. And if you want to be courageous and actually know what's going on, then stay tuned. So this is me trying to explain a little bit what's going on during Mercury retrograde. Most of you already know this retrograde starts on the 29th of May and it's going to last until the 22nd of June. So if you are a Gemini, this sucks balls. Mercury is the ruler of Gemini and Virgo. So those are the signs that will probably be the most affected by this bloody retrograde. <laughs> Yeah, three weeks of possible delays, possible miscommunication, possible problems with technology, computers, mobile phones, fax machines, <laughs> all of that. Delays in trains and planes. If you can, just stay home. This is happening while Saturn is retrograde in Aquarius. Shout out to Astral Week 17. Pluto is in retrograde in Capricorn, Astral Week 14. And Juno is also in retrograde in Sagittarius. That's Astral Week episode 11. So really at this point, it wouldn't be surprising if the sun and the moon go in retrograde because this is frankly ridiculous. So we had a pre-retrograde period that lasted for about two weeks. And we're going to have a retro shade period also of two weeks after the retrograde has ended. So it ain't over till it's over. But the retro shade is when things start getting back into normal. So what happens is like the planet Mercury seems to be moving backwards, but it's actually moving very, very slow and Mercury is mutable. It is a very fast moving planet and it doesn't like being slow at all. And those two weeks of retro shade, uh, yeah, basically the planet just going back to full speed. Do not dread, do not fear. We have already experienced and survived a retrograde this year at the beginning of the year in the sign of Aquarius. It's all happening in air signs this year. The next one is going to be in Libra and there are only three retrogrades a year. So that's also a good thing. The main piece of advice I want to give you guys is to be careful with your energy. Don't let yourself be dragged down into discussions that you don't want to have. Avoid also spending more time than necessary explaining your opinion or your reasons. You don't owe shit to anybody. And chances are, like, the more you try to explain, the less the other person is going to agree with you. <laughs> so just save yourself the time. Retrogrades are a great time for reviewing, revising, 
for editing, drawing lessons from life in general. This is especially true since this retrograde is in the sign of Gemini and Gemini loves to learn and study and being curious about things. So this is going to be a great time for us to reflect upon the things we have learned, express ourselves. And I see that through journaling. Journaling is going to be a very important part of us working through this retrograde. So whether it is actually in writing or typing or video journaling for yourself or recording your thoughts, automatic writing, anything where you can express yourself is going to be good. Having routines is also one way that we can deal with this retrograde effectively. So remember to ground, meditate as often as you can and need. Go out in nature, hike, take a walk and yeah, taking time for yourself. Taking the time to cater to yourself and to your needs. So whether it is a cup of tea or a bubble bath or both or lighting a certain candle or essential oils or watching a good movie. Take it slow and don't judge yourself or others. Little disclaimer before we move on to the reading. Uh, I will try to keep those readings short and sweet for you guys. The pals are already done, but I'm going to discover the cards with you. We have charms. I'm going to drop a thumbnail right here. So you can pause the video, meditate if you need to, pick a pal or more if you want to listen to all the readings. There's always a message for you. I'm also going to use my motivational cards or like advice and positive messages for this retrograde because I think we will all need that. Energy is always in movement so if you hear something you don't vibe with release it. I'm not going to tell you anything that you don't already know even at a subconscious level. Remember that I am only confirming things for you. Uh, sorry about the noise like the road is literally right there and my neighbors are having a party try to cover the noises up with the music if i can so without further ado let's get into it part number one hello this is your reading if you picked the part with the rose so straight off the bat i want to say love, romantic feelings. Uh, so something might be budding for you guys. I don't know why I'm getting this word. Like I never say this word. But yeah, something's in the bud. <laughs> Somebody might be getting a tattoo as well because this is like very traditional. Um, what the hell? <laughs> I'm like, where's the camera? Like traditional design, tattoo design. Like vintage. So what I asked was, what is been, I can't speak, my crew retrograde, what is being brought back for you? What are the possible obstacles or blockages <laughs> or difficulties? And what is your energy going to be like at the end of the retrograde? So let's start with... What is this retrograde bringing back? You've got the six of wands with the moon. Dreams. It's bringing back dreams for you guys. Six of wands. It's the guy with the horse. And it talks about success. So some of you might actually go back home like a place that you call home or that you used to call home, uh, somewhere you lived when you were younger and after an achievement and that's going to be, you're going to be like the dude on the horse <laughs> and, uh, and like family and friends um, welcoming you and celebrating your achievements. So you're the one who's going to be like coming back. Yeah, I'm getting this song. Oh my God. Guess who's back? Back again. The moon. The moon in the tarot also talks about 
kind of like uh, something that's not quite clear. So it might bring back, I mean, this is different scenarios. Okay, so different stories for different people. But it might be bringing back things from the past that you were uncertain about. Some situation, like some unfinished business. And uh, what I said at the beginning, I said dreams. Literally. Dreams, bringing back dreams. So it might be literal dreams, like when you go to sleep at night. Or whenever you sleep. Or dreams that you had, like, again, like when you were a child or a teenager. Like, you know, when, when we're kids and we say, like, oh, I'm going to be a firefighter or things like that. Uh, or your dream was to be a writer or your dream was to be an artist. And, and now you're kind of, like, rediscovering this dream, this passion that you have, because once talk about passion, this is fire energy, more specifically Sagittarius, if I'm not mistaken. But I feel like this is going to be a peaceful time just because like the moon is, looks so chill. You guys might have um, water placements. The moon rolls over Pisces in the Tarot. So you might have Pisces in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Or another water sign like Cancer or Scorpio. It's also worth checking where Neptune is in your chart, like which sign it resides in. But yeah, so for some of you, you are, you are returning somewhere. Or... For others, it's going to be a return of... <laughs> Dude, I'm hearing the song Return of the Mac. <laughs> Bro, it will be reminiscing. And again, that's what, like we said in the intro. If you haven't checked the intro, maybe um, go back and do that after you're finished with this reading. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a time of re-evaluating, reassessing, and getting in touch with your dreams, your personal aspirations. What are the possible obstacles that you might encounter? We have five with the um, fire eater. So fire again, you guys might be Sagittarius's or Aries or uh, what's the other one? Uh, Leo's sun moon rising again so be careful what you say especially in this retrograde period we were saying miscommunication during mercury retrograde is frequent so yeah be careful what you say how you say it if you start feeling hot-headed leave the room if you can Go for a walk. Do something else that takes your mind off of that. Because you don't want to be that person who's like spewing all those things. Um, if this is somebody else giving you lip, a same. Just like leave the room. Focus your attention on something that's actually worth it. Like your dreams. And uh, try to move on with your life and not ruminate things. Because this is not good for you and it's not good for your health either. This affects your body internally. What is your energy going to be at the end of this retrograde? We have a number 14, which is also a number 5. I forgot to say 5 is change. So we have the laundry. <laughs> this kind of makes me laugh, man. At the end of this retrograde, yeah, I feel like this is really you moving on. Um, there is blue, which is emotion, but also third chakra, communication, and intuition, again, with the moon. So you're going to be feeling a lot more intuitive and a lot more certain of what you need to do and more independent. That's the way I see this card, more independent. To what I also see for the end of this retrograde so like in three to five weeks time from you watching this video 
you're also going to have like a, a clean slate of you're gonna be you're going to know for sure who is staying and who isn't who is staying in your life and who isn't it's almost gonna be like you've assessed everything you go in touch with yourself your inner self with your intuition you've done a good bit of thinking and now you're ready to start afresh literally afresh with this energy and to express yourself and communicate in a way that is not damaging for any party but much more confident and certain of yourself that's how i see you at the end of this retrograde pal number one let's see what affirmations you can work with for this retrograde Ooh, okay i think yeah one and motivational messages this one showed itself let's see so you have 39 my intuition again with the intuition you guys my intuition tells me there is something bigger and better waiting for me so that's huge the message is you are abundance remember that you guys it's not because we're going through a retrograde period that everything stops and we stop being fabulous <laughs> we don't we don't we are abundance we are magic we just sometimes forget that we are so that was your reminder and if you are chasing again your dreams this is confirmation for you that there is something bigger and better waiting for you and that you should carry on in that direction part number one that was your reading let me know if it resonates drop a comment drop a like to help this video get out there reach the people it needs to reach i'd like to take the time to thank your guides my guides and spirit for this beautiful reading and i will see you again very soon but in the meantime remember you are protected you are supported and you are divinely guided Pal number two, if you chose the pal with the star, oh my god, this is tiny. This is your reading. So the star and the tarot talks about wishes, wishes fulfilled, karmic rewards, all of that. This is also a reminder that you are a star. Don't forget that. Shine bright like the sun, because the sun is a star. Your pile was super chatty. Pal number two, like the cards kept jumping so okay i asked three things what is coming back where is this retrograde bringing back i'm hearing the song bringing back moloko what is this retrograde bringing back what are the possible obstacles and what is your energy going to be by the end of this retrograde so from the time you watch this video like the next three to five weeks so what is this retrograde bringing back you got two cards you guys you're the only pile who got two we have the knight of swords with the umbrella we also have the king of pentacles which is actually a king so this retrograde is bringing back people i want to say first of all that is not surprising at all for some of you it might be a father figure or somebody who is older with a masculine energy so it could be a boss or a teacher it doesn't have to be but i'm just throwing it out there or it could be a family member an uncle uh, a grandfather again doesn't have to be a man masculine energy it's also bringing back some things some things that were um i want to say completed but it's like half done things that were half done and that you kind of um rushed through and you were like oh, this is good enough and now it's like coming back to be done properly so this might be something you did or something that somebody else did for you or with you 
and basically it, it was half baked not baked but like you know what i mean so that's why it's kind of like reappearing to be properly revised and work through again for some of you be careful because i'm getting this message of um, people coming back who were not beneficial for you and you had to protect yourself so watch out for that and try and avoid those people if you can because um they dropped out of your life for a reason uh you know that i think uh yeah like i was saying in the intro if you haven't watched it maybe after this reading you can go back and listen to it but yeah like don't entertain any kind of shenanigans any fuckery you don't have to explain your point of view your feelings your reasons to anybody you are not accountable to anyone but yourself so like if somebody's trying to make you feel a certain type of way um do not do not um step into that save your energy what is what are the possible obstacles that you may encounter so we have 26 with x photo 41 with red cross so i'm counting in my head like two plus six eight four plus one five and 13 that's a four with the tiger okay the ex voto is talking to me about manifestations things that you have been praying for might be delayed it doesn't mean they're not coming it just means they're being slightly postponed maybe but not to worry this is for a few of you it's still it's on the way but things need to get tweaked a little bit it's not completely ready and it's probably better during this time of retrograde because you know how things go so it's better to keep them for until the retrograde has passed so we can move on full steam ahead the red cross okay so i'm getting two messages money first of all money might be delayed and this is also healing heart chakra so maybe if you were trying to manifest a love interest that's also coming but it is being slightly delayed and i guess i keep getting this feeling of it's not ready yet it's it's coming but it's taking a little bit more time basically so spirit is asking you to be patient i know i know for others uh this i was talking about people who don't deserve your attention that's kind of what i'm seeing here people who are being like aggressive and trying to make you feel a certain way those might be the possible obstacles that you may encounter like i said don't give them any of your attention this is extremely important i want to say for your mental health for your well-being because people like that who want to elicit a response out of you like i said they don't need your attention that, that's what they want basically and i think you know that too that's what they want and the best thing you can do is actually give them none because it will confuse the hell out of them and it will also get them off your back so but yeah don't let them get the better of you like in this card like the tiger looks like it's eating the little girl you come up triumphant because this is you decided also because this is the color of the sacral chakra don't listen to people <laughs> like like don't listen to people but listen to me <laughs> i love this <laughs> very ironic but <laughs> Don't listen to people who are trying to tell you that your dreams, your manifestations can't happen, that it's uh, like nobody does that, this is crazy, it's never like um, drop those people, drop them. You don't need that kind of energy in your life. You move on, you do you. Especially yeah, if it's like a, an artistic project, because I've had it too, you guys. People who don't believe in you, we don't need anybody like that. You know what I'm saying? And your energy at the end of this retrograde, we have number 11. So we have um, four number ones. 
So new beginnings after this retrograde. We have the Sakura depression again, third chakra. And this is you blooming. Like once you get rid of all those, all that negativity that's trying to get to you, and you're not going to let it get to you because you're strong, you're going to be blooming. The glow up, it's going to show. You're going to be the star of the show. I told you that this is you, you guys, this is you. You're the star. You're the royalty. Never forget that. And so you are emerging at the end of this retrograde like a rose. Um, we had a rose as a charm for pile one, so maybe you wanted to check that out as well. Uh, let's have a look at motivational phrases, positive affirmation. Ah, this one jumped. And it's very simple. I choose bliss. I choose bliss. You guys, if you've watched Train Spartan, you know this moment when he talks about like choose life. That's kind of that. Choose what's best for you because only you know what is best for you. I was saying in the intro, like listen to your intuition, your judgment. I'm just confirming things for you guys. And the truth is that you know what to choose for yourself. You choose happiness, you choose your own bliss, you choose to go where your intuition is calling you. And okay, and take care of yourself, dude. I cannot take care of yourself. Like, pretty much what we were talking about this whole reading. Mental health is a real thing, and and you guys know. You guys know what's going to cause you distress and what isn't. So yeah, I trust you to make the best choice for yourself. Pile two. That was your reading. I hope it resonates. Let me know. Drop a comment, drop a like so this video can go out and reach the people that it needs to. I would like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides in spirit for this beautiful message. <laughs> and I will see you again very soon. But in the meantime, remember... You are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. Bye. Last but not least, pile number three. If you pick the pile with the eye. This is your reading right off the bat, I want to say. Your intuition is getting stronger. Your third eye is, is expanding. Uh, I want to talk about Jupiter. Check which house which sign Jupiter is in in your chart and what it means for you. Your pile was a little bit chatty as well, like pile number two. So if you were hesitating, maybe that's your sign to check pile number two. But yeah, I asked three questions for this retrograde. What is it bringing back? What would be the possible obstacles or difficulties? <laughs> And what is your energy going to be at the end of the retrograde? So like three to five weeks from watching this video. So I apologize for my noisy neighbors. What is this retrograde bringing back? Six of pentacles with the fish. Yeah, the six of pentacles talks about balance, harmony. But I feel like it's not going to be something that's making you feel uncomfortable because the fish looks really happy <laughs> like a fish in water so maybe it's uh literally like you going back to the swimming pool <laughs> you know or like going visiting a body of water i want to say first of all or reconnecting with an old friend from childhood i want to say or teenagehood this person or you might be a pisces or if you are or a Virgo, because this is pentacles, this is earth energy. Wait, fixed. Cardinal fixed. Oh, sorry, not Virgo. Um, Taurus. So Virgo or Taurus. <laughs> Why not? But yeah, I see you reconnecting with like a hobby, I want to say, that you enjoyed a lot. So for some of you, it might be fishing or swimming or a place like a cabin next to a lake or like a beach house something like that the f water involved for most of you what are the possible obstacles so you guys we got four cards so like take what resonates 
different stories for different people. We have 10 with papel picado, 28 with the exprimidor. Oh, dude. I'm like, your birthday might be in June because the 6th. You might be, it's, your, your birthday might be on the 10th, which is the day of the eclipse. 28, what else do we have? 32 with the poetess and 18 with like the, the love story. Self-expression with this card, I want to say. We talked about in the intro, we talked about communication difficulties because Mercury retrograde. So that for some of you, it would literally be like you having not finding the words or wanting to express yourself but not knowing how. This is what this card talks about to me. Wanting to express your feelings but kind of feeling like you, you can't find the words. It's literally what I'm picking up. Like the, the words are not coming. For some of you, might be also about your energy that you're feeling drained. Others are completing something at the end of a cycle and again blue with throat chakra that's what i'm picking up most of all so i think it's like you being done with trying to explain yourself for some of you i have to say it because that's what i'm seeing it might have to do with a relationship so a friend or a relative or a colleague whatever you thought about just now so i'm feeling like it's you you're being done with trying to make the other people see you trying to make the other person understand you because they can only they can only meet you where they are and um, because this card is very symmetrical there's a there's a mirroring that's happening that is not making you feel comfortable anymore or like you're, you're tired of the same thing kind of repeating itself over and over again and you decide to move away from that which again if it's for your own good go with it you have to do what is best for you at the end of the day those two cards all right we have the poetess and we literally have like a book so yeah communication we were saying writing a lot of writing we talked about journaling in the intro so if you want to go back and watch that if you haven't watched it after you watch this of course but also because this is the color of the root chakra grounding you guys you might you might have difficulties grounding at this time because of all this air energy so remember to do that and also not let your imagination or your mind like play tricks on you uh, because a lot of the time we have those scenarios that we play in our heads that have absolutely nothing to do with reality those things never happen and this is why you need grounding don't let your mind get the best of you. And what is your energy going to be like at the end of the retrograde? We have a number two again. So we have like three number twos. We have nine, five and two tens and a number six. Oh, Ichigo, Ichigo. At the end of the retrograde, you guys, you're going to be in touch with your feelings after all those like kind of throat chakra blockages and feeling like you can't find your words you guys are gonna be feeling uh frisky i'm getting <laughs> juicy fresh fresh you're going to emerge fresh from this more in touch with your feelings and like more in love with life as well like ready to bite into it and get the juices out of life which is super cool uh yeah again connecting spending time alone and grounding is going to be good for your intuition as well let's see what messages we can get what personal affirmations we can work with for this retrograde all right just one i give myself permission to recuperate if my body tells me to we're talking about being drained feeling drained 
This is number 63, if that means anything. I give myself permission to recuperate if my body tells me to. Very important during retrograde to recuperate, to rest, to drink water. My guys, I keep saying that like pretty much every video, but especially during a retrograde, listen to your body. Your body knows your body is going to tell you. Uh, motivational messages. You've got this. Don't worry about a thing. You've got this. This retrograde, piece of cake. Even if it feels like it's hard to keep your head above water sometimes, you still got this. And you're gonna emerge stronger and fresher and just, yeah, more playful, lighter, a lot lighter. So, part number three, that was your reading. I hope it resonates. Let me know, drop a comment, drop a like, so this video can get out there and reach the people it needs to. I'd like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides and spirit for this beautiful message. I will see you again very soon, but in the meantime, remember, you are supported, you are protected, and you are divinely guided.